Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video and today I'm doing my prediction for the WWE Battleground 2013 match between the new Paul Heyman guy, Ryback, and the old Paul Heyman guy, CM Punk. And personally, I think this is going to be a really, really good match. Honestly, I didn't think the Hell in a Cell 2012 match between CM Punk and Ryback was that good, but I think it really had the potential to be a really, really good match. I think if they had the match or TLC, it could have been really, really good, I thought. At the time, Ryback was having a good, decent push, and I could really get behind the match because they put a lot of effort into it until CM Punk sadly got injured the week before the match. I was pretty disappointed at that because I was really, really looking forward to that closing the year of 2012 off and having a really, really good match. But in 2013, we have a taster of what we may have seen in a singles match with no Hell in a Cell for a match at Battleground 2013 because, of course, last year, we were going to get a normal singles match for the WWE Championship at TL. LC, and then it was turned it was turned into a triple tag match between Ryback and Kane and Daniel Bryan because CM Punk got injured but now we do have a singles match between Ryback and CM Punk who were, were or are Paul Heyman guys so it should be a really really interesting match and honestly the reason why they have this CM Punk versus Ryback feud or they're keeping with the Paul Heyman guy versus the Paul Heyman versus CM Punk feud is because they're trying their best to keep CM Punk away from the main event scene between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. There's a few reasons why they're trying to do this. One of the reasons is because they don't want CM Punk to turn into a John Cena where he's getting so many title matches that it just becomes boring and lame and we don't really want to see him anymore because he's done everything. So they keep him in on the back burner, making him become a mid-carder but not really a mid-carder just to keep him busy but not making him be in the main event so we get bored with him. Even though he's just been around the scene for a good two years in a good main event spot I think he was if he was going to have another title shot it'd get pretty boring and we get all we get we just get bored of the CM Punk character so it's been brilliant that they've been keeping him busy while Cena's been away without giving him a title shot and keeping him in the main event spot so we get kind of old and bored of CM Punk but he's still with this so he's now in this Ryback and CM Punk for you to keep him busy also the fact that we don't have CM Punk in the main event gives a chance for Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton to carry the company and hopefully they can become bigger stars on their own and CM Punk's already there so he can help push guys such as Ryback and make them main eventers themselves so Ryback and CM Punk are in this feud and honestly I can see this going at least to Hell in a Cell 2013. So for that reason only, I'm going to go for a Ryback win here because usually when you have two matches at a pay-per-view or more than two matches, you usually have the heel win the first match because it gives the chance of the face to get the crowd behind him, get the fans behind him and chase that heel so that at the next match he can win and have all the crowd behind him and it gets everybody behind the face because they're chasing a victory that they really, really want. So you usually have the heel win in the first match when and you have a couple of matches going ahead at a pay-per-view. You usually have the heel win the first match and then the face can chase the heel and try and defeat him so you have the crowd behind him and everybody gets behind him and really, really wants the face to win so he gets payback. So I personally think Ryback is going to win this match. Now you may be thinking, well, surely CM Punk really, really needs to win this match because he's lost to Brock Lesnar and he's lost to Paul Heyman. So he's really, really been boring himself in the last few months and it's not really looking great for CM Punk. That's why CM Punk really 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 needs to look good in this match. I wouldn't be surprised if they made CM Punk be the only guy that gets the decent offense in this match. I wouldn't be surprised if Ryback doesn't even hit a shell shock or a spine bust or anything like that. I do expect CM Punk to look really really good in this match. Possibly hit the GTS or something like that where Paul Heyman gets involved, possibly distracts the referee and Ryback gets a gets a roll up pin or something like that because I don't really see CM Punk losing with a straight pinfall because honestly if he was going to get a third pay-per-view loss in a row, it's not going to be looking good for CM Punk because he's supposed to be building this guy. He's expected to have a WrestleMania 30 match. He should be building this guy up to the main event, ready for when Cena comes back and have a really, really good push for 2014. And if he's going to have a third pay-per-view loss in a row, it's not going to be looking good for CM Punk. So personally, I can see Ryback winning this match, definitely winning this match, but not a clean victory at all. It's not going to be in the middle of the ring, a shell shot pinfall in the middle of the ring. It's going to be possibly something like an accident by the referee where he gets knocked out and get a chair shot by Paul Heyman onto CM Punk or roll up victory like that I can't see Ryback winning cleanly in this match because if CM Punk was going to lose yet again in a third straight 
pay-per-view. He's going to look really, really bad. He's going to lose all that momentum he spent two years building up. But you've also got to have Ryback win this match because he's the new Paul Heyman guy. He's going to look good. If people are supposed to respect him and people are supposed to be like, well, the Paul Heyman and Ryback alliance is pretty fearful. You don't want to be getting in the ring with Ryback whilst he's got Paul Heyman at his side. You've got to make Ryback and Paul Heyman look strong in their first pay-per-view where, where they're aligned. And that's why Ryback's going to win this match. He's going to look strong. He's going to look decent when he's in this new alliance with Paul Heyman because honestly I thought the fact that they brought him out of all these pointless segments and just made a huge impact at Night of Champions 2013 out of nowhere it looks like they're going to be going places with Ryback they're going to use him they're going to use Paul Heyman's mic skills and they're really going to make Ryback a proper main eventer that's why he's having this match with CM Punk and of course Ryback's got to get the victory here guys but it's not going to be a clean victory so that CM Punk can chase this and really make Ryback a star at the Hell in a Cell 2013 pay-per-view because Ryback's still getting that good push Push. So honestly, I see Ryback winning this match and then possibly CM Punk going on to the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view and winning that match and maybe at Survivor Series we could have a third match. Something like that to keep CM Punk busy. But honestly, if a face is going to win the first match, you can't really make it go much further. But of course, the Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton match is supposedly going to be going for the next, maybe another pay-per-view and another one after that. So if you've got to keep CM Punk busy, you've got to have the heel win the first match and then the crowd can get behind the face in the next match. So that's my prediction, guys. Ryback it to not win, win cleanly so it doesn't bury CM Punk completely. CM Punk to look really, really good in this match so he can really have a lot of momentum, look good and not lose a lot of momentum if he actually does get pinfold with a clean victory from Ryback and Ryback to not get a clean victory and win some ballot by a roll-up pin and then CM Punk's going to chase that victory at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view and get the crowd really, really behind him. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Spite your hair.